am so lucky um, just today to listen to Pat, listen to Nora, um, my good friends, Rick and Sanjeev. It's amazing to have you here. I'm less nervous knowing that you're <laughs> in the room here. Um, and thank you, uh, Vicky, for the great introduction. Um, at first, you know, I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about. I have eight minutes. And so most of my life, uh, most of my career, I've been in sales and marketing. Um, so I sell vision, I sell hope, I sell experiences. I've never sold anything physical, um, which is interesting because you have to create a story, story tell, um, and you have to really sell an idea to consumers, to brands, to, um, uh, to entertainment, uh, to the entertainment industry, especially to the people. Um, my big passion uh, as well is Maestro Cares Foundation. Um, I serve on the board of Maestro Cares Foundation. We build orphanages all over Latin America for um, disadvantaged kids. And so that has really uh, helped me and blessed me uh, with meeting so many children who never really had hope, who never really had a chance. And along with my husband, Henry, and Mark Anthony, um, iconic artist Mark Anthony, we've been able to really provide and um, go out there to Dominican Republic, Colombia, Mexico, Ecuador, Peru, Argentina now, Chile. Our first project in the US uh, in Chicago will happen next year. And so I've been blessed to really um, be able to give my heart to these kids. Today, I wanna to share a story with you um, and this is a story of, of hope and um, it's a story that fills my heart. I fell in love with a kid named Jeffrey. Uh, he was born with ce cerebral palsy and the, m the minute his mother looked at him, she left. She had no uh, resources. She didn't know how to take care of him. And most doctors, most people in the community didn't give him more than six weeks to live, if that. Today, Jeffrey is 15 years old and he's the happiest boy that I know. To know him has changed me because I've understand, I understand he lives in what we would see as a tragedy. He's in a, in a wheelchair, is paralyzed from the neck down. Uh, and by the way, he's one of 5,000 children all over the Latin America that we try to help. Uh, but Jeffrey has given me hope for the world, for everyone. Um, my hope is always, every day when I get up, is to have a full heart. And I hope every day that not just me, but humanity, we are able to serve everyone, our neighbor, our family, our friends, our colleagues, to do the best that we can and uh, back to Pat's point, we are living in a world that right now seems negative, it's, it's sad, it's uh, almost surreal, but everything is bringing us together in a, in a better way. When I think of transformation, um, as, I, as I'm on this hit talk, a transformation for me I close my eyes and I think of resurfacing, almost coming out of the water. And if you can close your eyes and, and picture coming out of the water and with the, uh, with the water beneath you, how will we come out as people? Who will I be in three months, in six months, in, in a year? How, who will everybody be? Um, I think uh, I think the world, I think the planet for having this moment because I, I believe it makes you appreciate everything more. I am inspired uh, mostly by experiences and people. My grandmother who recently uh, passed away was my biggest inspiration. She was strong, uh, never hesitated, said what she meant. My mother, who is the strongest person I know, my sister, who is the busiest person I know, inspires me in everything that she does for her kids. 
Rick and Sanjeev, your messages uh, on, the, on these uh, sessions are amazing. And your energy, we hope to have absolutely bring it to everybody. That's why I want to thank Vicky for having these talks and for transforming everybody and getting, getting these messages out. One year ago, exactly today, um, I was in Spain finishing a 200 kilometer walk. I didn't plan it. I didn't um, think I could ever do something like that. My cousin who has MS does it every year. She's very sick, but she still goes every year. And she invited me to join her for the last 200 kilometers. I said, are you, are you crazy? When am I gonna do that? I have to work, I have meetings, I have to run to New York and I have to be here. Unfortunately, my grandmother was also very ill and I didn't wanna go too far. Um, I talked to my husband about it and he said, you should go, you may never get another chance. You never, uh, you never know, take a chance. If you get there and you can't walk 200 kilometers, that's fine. I took a chance, um, I dove into, uh, <laughs> In the, in the internet and I bought a ticket and I was in Spain the next day. Um, and I have to say, I, it took a lot of courage and thank you, Nora, for your story because it took a lot of courage and I, I got there. I felt pain in my legs, um, but I felt more happiness and gratefulness. And I was also next to my cousin who I know um, may never get to go to the walk again. I promised and committed to go again this year of course, we couldn't do that, but I encourage uh, I encourage the world and everybody uh, around us to take a chance to do things you would never think you could do. I was talking to Pat a little bit earlier and realized the best part of this is we're not rushing anymore. We're taking the time to look outside, to be with our family, to spend time uh, with our loved ones to learn something new. And I'm hoping um, that humanity overall, even with everything that's going on, feel the same way. Um, the relentlessness of my colleagues, um, we are in the entertainment business. And so we, from one day to the other, everything fell, fell down. Everything stopped. It was a halt for the entertainment industry, canceling 200 shows or more, was something that I, I watched my husband, also the CEO of, the, of our company, um, go through. And I've, I'm inspired by the strength that this, this pandemic brought that out of him, because it wasn't, um, it hasn't been very easy. But I think if we stay united, we can all go, um, we can make it through this and surface through that uh, wall of water as better people with bigger hearts and most importantly, um, more gratitude. Um, transformation for me has been through loss of life in this past year, but also um, hardship, love, and unity. People who never express themselves to me or um, to, to our family are now here. We're united no matter what. You unite and you move on, and we have to do it together. Uh, Vicky, thank you for having me. Um, I have so many stories about our kids and the Maestro Cares Foundation, also about um, how we met Sanjeev and Rick and for 25 years uh, forward. And so I hope I, I get to come on again and, and really um, be able to share more of that piece. I, um, one lesson I've learned uh, since knowing of uh, Sanjeev and Amita is that um, I have to say thank you more often. I am here to serve everyone and everyone comes before me. Uh, and I'm not that good at saying, at taking, uh, receiving and saying thank you. Um, and that's a, a great lesson that I've also practiced during this uh, past few, few months. Thank you.